This is Pinnacle Hill. We're on March 23rd, 2023 at 10 a.m. Rochester, New York's first ever ATSE 3.0 signal will be on the air. Using Sinclair's WUHF, Rochester will have ATSE 3.0 versions of its CBS, ABC, PBS, and Fox affiliates. In order to make this happen, channels that are currently on WUHF's existing ATSE 1.0 signal will be added to various stations broadcasting on Pinnacle Hill. WUHF's Fox Rochester will become a subchannel of Nexstar's WROC. Antenna TV and Comet TV will become subchannels of Sinclair's WHAM. And TBD will become a subchannel of WXXI's WXXI. Essentially, for having a broadcaster's channel on the ATSC 3.0 signal, the agreement is the respective broadcaster will add a former WUHF subchannel to their station. This way, WUHF's programming stays on the air in ATSC 1.0. And in return, those other broadcasters get their main channel on an ATSC 3.0 signal in addition to their own ATSC 1.0 signals. The current ATSC 1.0 signals from Rochester I receive in Niagara County, New York, suffer from multipath fading, a phenomenon that plagues ATSC 1.0 signals. ATSC 3.0 fixes this by using OFDM for modulation. OFDM uses a guard interval and has significant symbol multipath tolerance compared to almost none from ATSC 1.0's 8VSB modulation. In the coming weeks, I'll post a comparison video comparing WUHF before and after its transition to ATSC 3.0. If you like this video, consider subscribing and liking the video. Follow Western New York Over the Air on Instagram at WNY Over the Air. Like Western New York Over the Air on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash WNY Over the Air. And check out WNYOverTheAir.com for live band scans, cord cutting tips, and much more.